Welcome to Coke Studios Season 2, the show that shines with original new music. I'm Nandi Madita, and tonight we have two mega fusions with superstars and raw unsigned artists. This studio is where all our stars get to record their brand new tracks. We film the process and show you how the song unfolded, the drama, the passion, and the drive that went into creating their hits. Coke Studio also understands the importance of music producers, and every hit needs their magic touch. In season two, you've already seen and will get to meet hit makers such as Sketchy Bongo, Gemini Major, Tweezy, Heavy K, Demo, and many more superstar producers. On today's show, we feature two merging young producers behind our exciting new fusions. Raw unsigned artists Bergy Fresh and Lisa Good will be produced by Raw producer M2, who will in turn be mentored by award winning producer Sticky. Then Aon Wolf will be doing a fusion with a Raw star Jade McDonald and Raw producer Young DLC. This is the week of new producers and bumper tracks. At the Coke Studio Creator Space, Trey is waiting for two talented and eager raw artists, Bergie Fresh and Lisa Good. And this is where we'll be giving M2, a young emerging house producer, the chance to work with a legendary, amazing producer, Sticky. Trevor, have fun, Putuam. Thanks for that, Nandi. Guys, welcome to Coke Studio. This is the world-class facilities where over the next two days, two artists are going to be coming together and creating a massive fusion that we're going to be enjoying and listening to. I'm ready to meet the two guys, so I'm going to introduce you to the first guy. Hi guys, my name is Bergie Fresh. I'm 23 years old and I'm a studio recording artist. You ready to make some music? Yes, I am. I've heard you're quite a versatile cat, man. You know, um, how, how does that stand you going into the whole collaboration that we're doing now? It should make things a lot more easier for me yeah. because I'm always willing to create something new, you know? Lisa, are you here? My name is Sandy Siwe, Lisa Ndonga, but they call me Lisa Good. I come from a very, very musical family. When we're together, we just like to sing, you know, wherever we are, whatever we're doing, we just start singing. I studied sound engineering, music technology, and after I got my diploma, I moved to Pretoria. You ready to collaborate with Bergie Fresh? Of course, <laughs> Fresh. Just tell us a little bit about yourself, the kind of music that you do as well. My music is more um, high energy, um, a lot of dancing, and... Uh, Beautiful, I guess, just fun. Having so we're gonna time. have fun over the next two days. Exactly. Oh, okay, cool. Planning and Bergie, that. um, you've done some collaborations with big names. You know, you've got yeah. Smashes. I know you've worked at MEG. You've done yeah. Maraza as well. Tell us, how does that help you going into another collaboration like this? I'm always keen on something new that's gonna like, you know, help me become a better creative. You know, so I'm I'm looking forward to it a lot. Have you done some collaborations before? No, this is gonna so this be is my your first, first time. time. My name is Masiwonge Mchali. Uh, my artist name is M2. This is the guy you guys are going to be working with. Well, Apparently last year you were here, but yeah. you were doing editing. Yeah. And now you're producing. So last year, uh, I was an editor on Coke Studio. And you know, me loving music, I sort of said, OK, cool. Let me just let the guys know that I'm also into this kind of stuff. Uh, and so I did. And luckily enough for me, uh, the guys really liked it. And so they invited me this year to be part of it. I want to find out a bit about you guys. I just like to, I don't know, a bit more dancing than, um, yeah. Cool. And you, my bro? As long as there's rhythm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy. I want my process yeah. to kind of work with yours. So since it's a fusion, so there needs to be something that pulls you guys together. And I think it's the chorus in the sense. When I came here in Coke Studio, I met um, Bergie Fresh, she's a hip hop artist and M2 house producer. Our raw producer M2 will be mentored by Sticky, the established and renowned producer famous for his work with AKA. Coke Studio invited me into the big league and kind of dropped me right at the deep end. Different tempos, different style of music, very different artists as well. Uh, it's kind of a uh, really good experience, but quite a daunting one, really. Coke Studio decided to let M2 start the session on his own. Quite a challenge for an emerging producer. There's cameras and pressure and only two days to create a hit. 
I'm a house producer, right? Uh, so these guys are okay. One is a is a hip hop artist, quite different. The other one does EDM but pop. It is a challenge. It's now almost half a day since they started working, and they're way behind time. So far, both of us are going this side, and he's like going <laughs> that side. At that point, I'm like, really okay. So now this is really the deep end the dark side of it. You know, you don't want to have creative juices going away because it's hard to get them back again. He, he gets how we feel. I think it's a bit hard for him. Ever cool and calm, Sticky arrives in the midst of the musical get journey. Get out of the way. Yeah, get out of the way. Okay, let's do this. How are you, buddy? Yeah, cool, man. Cool, man. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. So Sticky came in as a producer who's, you know, well-versed in hip-hop and he gave them what they liked. You know, we started having a song that had a feel of really the three elements that were in the room. I think now once we have uh, a solid basis, you know, from Sticky, it will be easier for the guys to write on and for me to add on those elements that I feel should come on it. The producer has got to understand the extremes, the desires, and then pull it all together into a song that pleases everyone. We know Sticky because he's worked with AKA, he's worked with a lot of big heavyweights in South African music. And he was able to get things going at a quick pace. I hope he pulls it together. I'm gonna leave them just for a little bit so that they can get going without any distractions. And I'm gonna come back and check on them later. The big lesson is allowing the other artists to come into my process so that we can understand each other, which is something that eventually happened towards the end, but it would have been great if we had started with that sort of confidence. Right now, at least we know where it's heading. It's gonna be interesting to see what's happening tomorrow because now it's the end of the day. So for me, until then, I'm out. After the break, A1 Wolf and raw artist Jade McDonald create a fusion with up and coming producer Young DLC. But first, Bergie Fresh, Lisa Good, raw producer M2 and Sticky create a mega blaster. It's the start of day two, and the guys seem to have got it together after a very lackluster afternoon. I'm very interested to see what's happening in that studio, so let's go and check them out. Sticky came in with a hip hop trappy vibe. Let me hear the music, come on. We kind of wanted to get to a space where everything was kind of flowing, you know. We knew we just recorded scratch voices, but we just wanted to see how everything is gonna be. When I heard this new beat, I got too excited and I'm like, yeah, now this is what I'm talking about. So I've just been in the studio with the guys, caught up. I found out that the energy is very high this morning. Everything looks to be going according to plan. Masi is really getting into it. He's taking control today. He wants to add a few elements of his own. Yesterday, I took a voice note and I went home to my own studio. So I worked on something, and then this morning I came in with it. I put it on, Sticky came through, and he liked some of it. Right now the song is pretty much pumping. I'm very happy with like some of the elements that I came back from home with, my own studio. Uh, some of them still exist in the song. What's the plan? Just when I finish with the chorus first thing, and then get so, him through that. So what's changed in the chorus? If anything. Like, there's an empty section we're adding to now. What's happening in that section? She's gonna sing. Yeah, the kid shop. If she's gonna sing, I'm cool. With she's it. gonna sing. But you better sing nice. Okay. Sticky, sticky. He's a real producer. <laughs> it's always on my case. What's your statement? Is that the shoes, the blue shoes? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, the blue shoes, man. I actually realized something. We were having a chat about dress sense and producers. How important it is it to you individually? So I think brand awareness is important, like setting what works for you and moving with that. As an artist, you always have to be on point. For you, I can see, obviously, your hair is like your signature, you know? Yeah. That's like the, your, your standing point. That's how people recognize you. I love boots. I have too many pairs of yeah. boots. You That's right? the thing. Yo, I love them too So much. those are your two signatures, yes. like your stamps. Yes, okay, are. this is good now. I just don't want to be predictable. Like, so I always try and do something that I feel is a little bit challenging. Style is crucial, but it's time to write and produce. Today's focus was mainly just to get the vocals 
out of the way. I guess the beat got me excited and we had to work hard because, you know, this is our last day. What will happen is we'll do that take where it's the both of you guys singing together. The challenge that I was facing today was um, I've never done that kind of a music ever. You want to hear that I got your back and pronounce your words, you know, pronounce them better. Now this is the final touches, so Stick is busy pushing the vocalist. They don't know where we came from. Today there's been a lot more speed. We've got a guitarist coming in, so there's gonna be a bit of that flavor coming in. The song is a fusion. Fast fingers, Sunny Boy brings instrumental magic to the mix. I can't wait to perform this song for my fans. And the track right now is sounding super amazing. If you hear it or when you guys get to hear it, you'll understand that I can sing now. Listen closely and you'll recognize our theme tune. This song turned out so well that the producers remixed it for the title sequence music. It's very important for me to play something that is natural to someone who's going to listen to it here before we go there. This experience with Coke Studio is uh, kind of seeing it all come together and throughout the process you just got to keep in mind that it's about the music. It's what counts the most. So it's been a roller coaster of emotions for the past two days. Yesterday went from up to down, back up again. Today they started off at 100 kilometers an hour. But we're finally at the point where the song is happening and it's done. And the only thing that's left to do is to watch them performing it. Over to you, Nandi. Thanks, Che Che. Our artists had two days to create a brand new song. Wild and Sticky, M2, Bergie Fresh, and Lisa Good. Together, the artists are a merging raw producer and his mentor, Sticky, created a world-class track. What goes around, this is a hit.
And every week we listen to this track. This opens up the show for Coke Studio. How does that feel? Oh my word. That's amazing. <laughs> That's that is amazing. Right? <laughs> week after week we hear the song. Up. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> right? What a riveting experience. How was it for you creating this track? Uh, honestly, um, it was amazing. I enjoyed working with Peggy and him. Uh, we just like, uh, everything was cool, amazing. Kind of like, it was kind of different for me because usually I don't do this kind of music. So it was a bit, um, what's the word? Tricky. Yeah. But then I ended up loving the song. So Absolutely. Cool. And of course, um, you know, the version that opens up the show is more electronic. But this version had a bit of grunge and like, African elements yeah. here yeah. and there. We have to, right? we have to put that to, accent we're there. We're trying to cover the whole of Africa. Yeah. Man, oh man, you guys did it well. And I see my brother there in the corner, M2. Now, interesting story because you edited the show last year and apparently you have the secret talent that is not so secret anymore. And you're actually a producer and DJ. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's a thing of art. Yeah. So yeah, I'm an artsy person and <laughs> that's where the story ends really. And how was it, <laughs> that's in the story, and I like that. But how was it, just interestingly enough, how was it actually co-producing with someone like Sticky? It was great, so like I'm usually a house person, but I mean, being into it with hip hop and you know, this kind of stuff, I love it and I love what's happening here with all the African elements and yeah. you know, keeping it local, it's great for me. Because this was something really different. Like I yeah. said, grunge meets hip hop. And then, guys, how, you know, you guys always have style and you're looking fresh as usual. Don't yeah. worry. Looking Shout beautiful out. as Thank always. You. Thank you very much. The boots? Yeah. The blue shoes? Hey. The boots? What's going on? I'm a goat. So, like, goat meaning greatest of all time. Not there yet, but I'm getting there. So, yes. these are like our <laughs> sailor gear. Wow. Yeah, we're sailing the storm. We love it. We love it. And yourself? What he said. Oh, oh my God. I am not worthy. We love it. <laughs> this is a night of young producers, rising stars and mega stars. Next up, we have another fantastic raw producer called Young DLC from Zimbabwe. Coke Studio invited him to create a track with emerging star Jade McDonald and Durban superstar A1 Wolf. But first, we pop out to pay some bills. Coming up, a season one hit with Moonchild and Uhuru. By the way, DJ Maporisa will be working with Trey songs later in the series. Raw artist Jade McDonald with recording star A1 Wolf and Young DLC, a Zimbabwean producer who's going to make waves. They have two days to create a hit. No pressure. <laughs> Welcome back to Coke Studio. Coming up, we have superstar A1 Wolf working with the mesmerizing Jade McDonald. But before that, let's play your hip back. Coke Studio created 34 banger tracks last year. Uhuru has dominated the sound in South Africa and influenced Africa and, of course, the world. Last season, they fused with Moonchild, and this is their smash hit, Ivila, and it's back. Oh, oh, oh.
Ultimate Sound was created by their producers. A producer is an extremely important element in the creative and studio environment, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. We're now onto the headline act of the evening, a fusion with the hit maker A1 Wolf of Durban's popular Wolf Pack and Jade McDonald, a singing sensation. And we're giving another young producer a shot at fame. It's Zimbabwe's young DLC. The pressure is on. Don't forget, they only have two days to create a song. Now over to Trey in the Coke studio, Engine Room. <laughs> Thank you, Nandi. Now, I just got into the studio and I'm told this guy is already here, straight from the plane into the studio. He's from Zimbabwe, he's a talented producer, diverse, and he's got so much swag as well. Young DLC, what's up, brother? Are you good? You apparently started making music at the age of nine. I actually started making music before nine, but my first before. song, I made it when I was nine. Jade, are you around? Hi, I'm Jay McDonald, I'm 24, and I'm from Joburg, and I'm a singer. I am known for doing house music. What gets me excited is something soulful and like bluesy, but with like a current beat. I've heard that you're a very diverse um, sort of a musician. One of my trance songs actually got played by Armin van Buren in oh, okay. Avita, yeah. Hey, A1 Wolf. Hi, this is A1 Wolf. I'm a singer-songwriter from Durban. I started with music when I was uh, very young. My father had a club in Lesotho. I used to apparently be in the DJ box and just mess around. But I started writing uh, at probably the age eight, nine. My favorite songs, my biggest songs so far, I would say, depends on who you are. If it's all the crowd, it's definitely a week ago. A lot of younger people like walking and dabbing. There's a couple of songs that are not even radio singles that people love, like She Loves Me with Nasty C or Kids with Chicana. I fell in love with music very young and nothing has changed since. The only thing left to do, guys, is make the music. The talented and popular A1 Wolf and Jade McDonald may be cool now, but both overcame numerous challenges. Music is inspired by my personal experiences growing up because my music is very diverse. I attribute that strictly to the fact that I moved around so much. So I had to incorporate different lifestyles, different sounds constantly. It usually made me stick out and like, uh, I get picked on for it because I was, I was always like into something different that everyone else was into. I battled a lot in school. I, I really, I couldn't read. I couldn't like, it was just like up until like grade four, like I battled with like reading and English. Music has always been a very special place for me to escape and express how I feel. At some point it switched, it was the weirdest thing. I used to get bullied for it and then it made me popular, but I'm, I'm happy that I had those different experiences. I also would like to make something that's radio friendly in terms of everybody listening to it. Like, for me, it's finding that, that ground between the clubs <laughs> or the festivals yeah. and the person listening in their car at home. And it's like feel good and like radio friendly. Yes, I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about, Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ideas. Sorry to push you out of your no, comfort zone, it's, I know. It's cool. Something which can be like... Now we talk. Yeah, this is, now see, this talk. is like, yeah, <laughs> we're going on the right track, track. <laughs> yeah. We're basically getting thrown in the deep end. But I mean, working with such incredible artists, I feel so privileged. Even if I'm not in my comfort zone, I want to learn from everything. There's nothing better for me than having a song that you're proud of. I just want to do that with someone new. Working with someone new that I'm not familiar with is getting out of my comfort zone. Yeah. Sometimes the best yeah. ideas come from the ideas that you don't really think True. work. <laughs> Diasi is, I mean, he's, he's very talented. He's very quiet and reserved, but he's got a lot of, like, oomph when you can hear the beats and he's got a lot we to tell. Change to like. You can see that he puts a lot of passion yeah. into his work. I respect that a lot. <laughs> have you come up with any sort of concrete ideas as to the direction that you guys want to take? We're going to let him have his freedom, yeah. and then once he's done with the beats, we can translate Just, what yeah. his music's saying. <laughs> this is actually my first collaboration. Young DLC accidentally walked into the Coke Studio creative space and played his tracks to the producers. The rest is history. His talent blew them away. With day one, personally, um, I was worried because I think DLC felt like he was being limited, held back a little bit because he I know he's very heavy with the EDM. I think 
A1 Wolf and myself, we wanted to do something um, that would appeal to like all the markets. So DLC sat and like started creating a track by scratch. I like working very quickly in terms of like going straight into like the, the making of the song and the mm -hmm. lyrics and all that stuff. So it's difficult for me to like sit back and just listen and you know, like vibe like that. It's, it's a very different experience because you have to open yourself up with you know, everyone here and watching you and, you know. This is young DLC's first collaboration. He's so eager to please that he almost forgets to communicate his ideas to his stars. So Trey mentors young DLC. They need to find something and then, you know, once they get ideas going, then you can start playing around, doing arrangement. Still got the song going, you oh, yeah. still so, feed into it. Yeah, I just decided that, okay, let's do something which is more friendly to the ear. Okay. I'm feeling like I'm not sick and I'm breaking it down. Wanna feel like I'm alive, but you ain't got coming down on the side. I'm feeling like I'm not sick when you set in your ways, but I'm breaking all down and I wanna feel like I'm breaking. Then, and it feels like we was apart. Maybe that's because we both stars. Basically, right now, like trying to figure out melodies and what sounds right. So I have what I'm trying to say. And now I'm just trying to translate it and make it like the same language as the music. Man, I hate it when this feelings evolve. Now you got me holding onto something that my writing process is now just basically sitting with a verse and um, trying to get lyrics. You guys have had a very good day. So far we have I think three quarters of the song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so We've got an arrangement, we've put some verses on it. Now we're just left with the hook. So okay. we just have to, I think we should go home, think about it and come up with a solid hook because a hook is like important for a song. And then something you should. I like it, yeah. So we're at the end of the first day between A1 Wolf, Jade and Young DLC. Young DLC got a little bit preoccupied with making the music, but after a chat, he was able to re-engage the artist. Tomorrow, we're gonna watch it all go down. For me, I'm out of here. Peace. After the break, Young DLC, A1 Wolf, and Jade McDonald have one day left to come up with a banger they can all be proud of. Day two, A1 Wolf, Jade McDonald, Young DLC, Let's go. What has happened since yesterday? I just added um, some more spice. And we're just hoping that he hasn't changed the track too much. Taking everyone by surprise, Raw producer Young DLC displays why Coke Studio has so much faith in him. <laughs> but now this was like another element altogether. Yeah, I put those vocals sharp. What DLC did last night was pretty amazing. Like the bridge, the new bridge that he added there was... <laughs> yeah, it makes the song alive. Like, yeah. it, it's like coming together so nicely. I can't believe what he's done in a night. Me and A1 Wolf are so happy. And I just want to feel that something is real And I just start to think that you don't know me what we wrote is genuine, and what more could an audience want than that? Uh, this is definitely a place of experience. Um, every song that I make always comes from a place of experience. Being in this industry can be very hard on a relationship. You got that moment where you just decide, okay, is it working, it's not working, why is it not working? I don't know why it's not working. Is it her or is it me? I don't know. You, you get confused with love. Like, you love each other, but at the end of the day, is it worth all the fighting? I think we're ready to record. I just, uh, yeah, I don't want to do too much, so just keep it simple. Yeah, like. keep it simple. Mm -hmm. OK, we yeah, we're we ready. We're engineer, we're ready. Hi, it's your boy Wilson here again. I'm here with the maestro. I'm just helping out with vocals. Yeah. Sing? No. Just sing, uh, just sing, uh, sing, sing again, please. Summertime, been living is easy. Fish are jumping and the cotton is high. I mean, Jade is a gem. She's such a sweet girl. There's nothing bad I could ever say about Jade. Like, she's really a sweet girl and she's got, like, a really good vocal. Like, her vocal is amazing. 
So I'm feeling very good about the, the collab. Nice. No, do whatever you want to do, then we now are going to select yeah. what we think is the best. Okay. Mm. So. Performing this song, man, we got a dance sequence ready for the song. This song is done. Like, I don't know any other fusion that's got the, that's got a dance sequence that naturally came out from the song. Our energy in studio is gonna show on stage, and that's what I'm really excited for people to see. I'm excited to perform this one. Well done to young DLC Jade McDonald and A1 Wolf for pushing their passion to new heights. Let it, go. it just sounds really cool. It's all of our styles put together. Um, I didn't think that it would be possible, but it's like, I think it just shows us off very well. So I'm loving it. They have fused their personalities, their genres, and their stories into a mega merger. Coke Studio is so proud of them. So our artists have had two days to come up with a trailblazer, and I can say we definitely have a surprise for you. Only question is, is it rock? Is it hip hop? Is it soul? Let's find out. Nandi, over to you. Thank you so much, Trey. Now, this is so exciting. Two stars and an up-and-coming producer had two days to create a massive dance track. They experienced love, passion, highs and lows, and like all great masters, it takes frustration and passion before the creative juices flow. And here are Jay McDonald, A1 Wolf, and the young DLC right here in Coke Studio. This is Runaway. <laughs> both knew but never really got i guess it's how when you made it don't have time to sit around and i don't know what you're looking for maybe you can figure it out when i'm not around so we stuck in this moment and i don't know how to show it i don't know where we're going when your love starts running away hey hey when your love starts running away
Let it go. Track. After the break, Nandi catches up with stars A1 Wolf and Jade McDonald. And Trey hits the road in search of hit makers Kyle Deutsch and Angola's Landry. Insane. Amazing. Well done, guys. Nkaya, fellow Durbanites. Yeah. First of all, how are you not distracted doing a fusion with this beautiful Jade McDonald? Because I don't know if you I know, can focus. Life is so hard just being next to her, man. <laughs> life is tough, right? But in all seriousness, of course, she's a talent. How was the experience as a whole? No, it's been really good. It's been, um, yeah, it's been an uh, eye-opening experience working with new talents that are from a different city and they're really dope. Yeah. Absolutely. Shout out to Young DLC. Interesting story how you became a part of this, of yes. course. I mean, you were randomly looking for Mikasa in studio and then all of a sudden they heard your tracks and were like, you are talented. I mean, things like that happen right here in Coke Studio, right? Yeah. It's all about collaboration and of course just meeting new people. So unexpected fusion, but absolutely incredible, right? Yeah, definitely. You guys make me so proud. And by the way, you're a lawyer too, so uh, yeah. I know you take yourself seriously. You're not yeah, playing around, right? Yeah. <laughs> so now, Jade, I want to ask you, how was it working with megastar A1 Wolf? Uh, it was just such an honor um, because I think both of you guys have such awesome energy. And even though we, we all got thrown into styles and maybe we weren't really that confident with, but we just worked so well together and I would definitely work with you guys again, like any day. Aww. Absolutely, so unexpected, <laughs> but so beautiful. Congratulations, guys. Remember all you guys at home, all our fusions can be downloaded from cokestudio.co.za. And thanks to the talented A1 Wolf, Jade McDonald, and earlier in the show, we saw Bergie Fresh and Lisa Good with producer Sticky. And a special thanks to our emerging producers, M2, and of course, the young DLC. Well done, guys. But before we say goodnight and farewell, Trey has been sent on a journey of discovery throughout this talented and beautiful country. And yes, he's going to be bringing talented raw artists and megastars. This should be interesting. Coke Studio is about collaborations and making hit songs. So I'm on a journey of discovery. I'm on my way to find Landrick. He's a very talented artist from Angola, and I'm gonna try to convince him to get on a track in Coke Studio. Yes, sir. Well, the producers extend an invitation for you to come out to Coke Studio. No. <laughs> There's no way. So we're in Kenton Park in the East Rand to see Big Star. Yeah, how are you, bro? Yes. The producers, they're trying to get you in the studio for two days. Wow. Um, they've got Kyle Gage. Okay. And we're on the way to see somebody that's got quite a bit of thunder in the Durban scene, Carl Deish. I would really like it if you came on to um, the show Coke Studio ah. to do this collaboration with this dope artist. Can I let you know? Do I have to let you no, know No, you now? need to tell me right now, bro. I need now? To, yeah, I need to leave with the answer and make sure that it's done. I can't go back to, you know, the studio without having an answer. Coke Studio remains inspiring, entertaining, creative, and original. Next week on Coke Studio, we have another cross-border banger. Angola's big star, Landrick, will be creating a fantastic fusion with Ash, South Africa's master of melody and cool. Zimbabwe's Mr. Click Click Camera will be bringing the sensual pan-African sizzle to the mix. Then, back to the beach star, Kyle Deutsch, meets, greets and creates with big star. This is a big song with big names. Our stars have two days to create new, original music. And they work it. Peace. What goes around that comes back around that you know I got your back. You know that I believe and trust that I can please you. I got your back. Swing back to bless me, boy.
Coke, Coke Studio. Studio, produced, produced by, by Good, Good Noise, Noise Production. Production.